Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. <clears throat> Welcome back to another Chicano podcast, guys. <sighs> Hope everybody had a, a lovely weekend, a good uh, a good uh, Mother's Day. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, but yeah, let's let's get to, to today's topic. Today we're going to talk about Canelo losing. Canelo took a huge L today, guys, or this weekend, I mean, um, against Bivol, uh, a Russian uh, boxer weighing in at like 170 something, something like that. <clears throat> Canelo went up a couple weight classes. Um, I, I, here's my take. So Canelo gets takes an L, um, doesn't get that belt. He uh, he tried making history, and, and you know what I mean. His he's doing great. Um, what I did see in this boxing match, and it, it kind of sucks because he that man Canelo looked tired, guys. Um, I don't know about you guys, but so first couple of rounds, Canelo's jabbing him up, doing pretty good. But then I felt him that every time he would he would attack, the guy wouldn't punch back. Bivol wouldn't punch back. He would just defense, defense, defense. And Canelo was trying to get that guy to fight him. You know what I mean? Because he knew he had the counter punch. But Canelo, I don't know. I feel like he got stuck in in this mode. And this happens to you when when you don't take this types of uh, things personal or. Uh, I felt like he felt he fell into a, a repeating combination, which was and, and I, I mean for for those of you guys, it's a jab, 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 and then overhand, right? <clears throat> well, this guy was reading Canelo. Canelo was like jab, jab, jab. This guy was blocking, 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 and then Canelo would throw that overhand. This guy it was hitting him in the in the right arm in the left arm and this guy's a bigger man of course so although canelo was doing good through some combinations i felt like he was gassed after like the fifth sixth round canelo was soaking wet and this bivol guy was just right there just not even breaking a sweat yet and then i I gotta gotta give props to this bivol guy i've never heard of him never seen him fight other than this fight this guy kept his composure he was like okay so you're gonna be trying to blast me. You're gonna try to knock me out. That's fine. I'm just gonna block. And then every time that you would get you get tired, Canelo, because he started seeing Canelo get tired. Then I'm gonna attack. Then I'm gonna throw my jab. Then I'm gonna keep you at distance with my jab. He knew he was a taller, heavier man. He knew he had the reach. He knew he had the, all the advantages to beat Canelo. So the rounds go on. Canelo um, keeps trying. Canelo's gassed. You could tell he's gassed. Then this guy tries to push Canelo, and this guy never fell into Canelo's traps. Canelo would get on the on the ring, on the ropes. Hey, come on, come on. That guy was like, mm-mm, you come over here. You come over here. A lot of the time, I guess if you study Canelo enough, you do realize that Canelo uses that rope to counterpunch you. So Canelo will invite you in. You'll start punching, trying to get, you know what I mean? What Canelo's trying to do is trying to get you tired, right? And then when he's getting you tired, He'll counter counter punch you. This guy was not having it. He's seen too many Canelo fights. You could tell. He studied Canelo too to the pin. I felt like Canelo with that weight going up, his punches weren't as effective. Like it was weird because Canelo threw more punches. He hit this guy more in the sh- in the shoulder area and the chest area than in the face. And then Bivol had nothing in his face. And Canelo, Bivol's punches, you could tell at the beginning of the fight, Bivol was throwing some punches and it was shaking Canelo up. Um but it was moving him. It wasn't like, uh, how can I explain it to you guys? So his punches were more effective. It, although they weren't landing because Canelo has a good defense. But it, the weight was just tiring Canelo out. Canelo, <clears throat> towards the end of the of the rounds, what is it, 10, 11, 12? Canelo looks gassed out. This guy's boom, boom, out, out boxing him. He's just scoring points. He's not even trying to knock Canelo out. Not once that I feel that that he was trying to knock Canelo out. Power punches thrown, very few from him, and he was just collecting points. Pop, 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 collecting points. That's that's the whole fight. He played a very safe, smart fight. Canelo got gassed. At that weight, Canelo's punches aren't as effective, guys. Um, Canelo thought he was going to be effective at that point, and I felt like Canelo's corner... I didn't get to see what Canelo's corner was telling Canelo, but I felt that that wasn't part of the game plan. Canelo was trying to trying to just KO this guy. He, I maybe, I mean, maybe he th- got overconfident or something, but Canelo wasn't throwing with so much power, is, is what I'm saying. But, uh... Yeah, I'm bummed, very bummed out. I'm a huge Canelo fan. I think they're going to do a 
uh, rematch. Canelo, after the fight, his face was pretty jacked up. Some bruising, some chichones and stuff like that. But all in all, Canelo gave it his all. You know what I mean? He should be back. He should be back. And, and this time around, I feel like if Canelo... The... the problem was it was so easy to read Canelo the whole fight because Canelo was giving you the same combination just one two one two three jabs and then he would go for the over overhand right that's the worst thing to do the guy was literally just blocking the whole time Canelo wasn't going for the body as much um every time let's say this guy was trying to punch Canelo right Canelo would boom get away from the punches but he wouldn't counter so this guy was just throwing he would throw like three four at a time a combination whether it was jab jab or straight straight or whatever right um but after that canelo tends to counter punch and he wasn't he was moving out of the way and then he would stay there and then the guy would still land one little jab in one quick even though it wasn't hurting canelo but it was just like canelo was gassed it seemed like canelo didn't have the the tank you know what i mean i i don't know it just seemed that way but all in all big ups to bivol I can't wait to see the rematch. I think Canelo watching his film after that, he's going to realize, oh, look, I was just too repetitive, easy to read. After after I would fake, I, after I would um, see the punches coming, I wouldn't react to him because he was too tired. You could tell he was just too tired. He would, boom, get away from the punches, and then he wouldn't react to it. He was like, oh, whew, I didn't get hit. And then he would try to play it off. But no, you could tell Canelo was drenched, drenched, drenched. It seemed like like his cardio wasn't there that day, that night. Uh, What do you guys think about Canelo's fight? Um, It's just tough. It's just tough to see a, a fellow Mexican lose like that. Um, maybe he got, you know what I mean, too, too caught up on the, in, the uh, in, you know what I mean, maybe he just didn't do his thing, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, that's it for today, I guess. Chicago out.